So those clips were taken from some of the videos that I've done around the world while I've been working with some brands and like collaborating with them. I've been lucky enough to have the chance to team up with some companies and I thought that I would talk to you guys a little bit about how I go about doing that and give you guys some pointers and tips on some of the things that I've learned so far about working with brands and making travel videos and travel content. So the first thing I wanna say is I just uploaded a video from Indonesia that was in collaboration with a company. So if you guys wanna see what I'm talking about, then click on one of these things. So this is like one of the main questions that I get asked is how I make money to afford to travel and like what I do for work and stuff. And this is one of the ways that I do make money and earn money while I travel. And I thought it was a really cool thing to talk about because a lot of people online are kind of sensitive to the subject or they don't wanna like share this information with you guys. But I feel like there's enough of this to go around for everyone, so I'm not gonna hide anything. I'll give you guys some rad advice that I've learned and some stuff that I wish I knew when I was first starting out. I think one of the first biggest like misconceptions is that you need to have a huge influence to be able to like get brands to work with you and stuff, which is definitely not true. You just have to have some certain value to offer to whoever you're gonna be working with. So if you guys can figure out what your value is, it doesn't necessarily have to be that you have like hundreds of thousands of followers or anything. The first time I collaborated with the brand, I think I had like less than 5,000 subscribers and maybe around like 8,000 followers on Instagram, which is not a lot. That's like a really small little channel. So that's the first thing that I just wanted to like put out there and say that that's not necessarily true. So for me, as an example, my value could be that I will take a whole lot of product photography for the company or a small promotional video and then as well as that I'll do a couple of like influencer posts to the small audience that I had but then they would be getting a lot more value than just that small audience you guys need to figure out what your value might be you could do it that way or you could come up with a better way that's kind of just what I thought of and what worked for me once you have figured out your value then your next step would be trying to figure out how you can pitch this thing that you're trying to sell to the company or the brand. Make sure that you're reaching out to brands that you actually believe in, brands that you really think are cool. Don't just kind of like spam bulk email out to anything and like everyone in hopes of like just getting responses and hopes that you can just like get paid from these like random companies. Make sure they fit with you, make sure it's cohesive so that when you do do something and you guys do a collaboration that it's organic and it works well and your audience will accept it well rather than being like, this is such an advert, kind of sucks. Your next step, and once you have this massive list of all of the brands that you would really like to work with, is that you need a pitch, you need a proposal, something to send to all of these brands and tell them what you're kind of offering. One of the ways that I really like to do this is by putting together a PDF document and you can include a whole lot of pictures and you can put links to other work that you've done, similar stuff that will like be appropriate. Make sure you don't just make like a PDF and then just make a generic one and send it to like a hundred different brands. The brands are gonna see right through that, it's obvious. Don't just spam them make a make like curate a specific one to each brand that you're working with if you want these brands to like actually take you seriously and get back to you and actually end up paying money to you and like working with you you need to put in a little more effort than just bulk spamming like 100 brands it's really not going to work they're going to tell very quickly i think a good rough layout for your pdf document and something that works for me is have a brief intro of who you are and what you do then the next thing would be what you can do for them and what you want to offer them and you could have another section on 
some of your other work that you've done or links to previous things to show them as an example and then you could follow that up with a much more detail so like your first one can be like two like a page or two or three and then you can follow that up with a much longer and much more in-depth and detailed one like really explain, explaining everything you want to do and then you can start introducing stuff like uh, like rates and like locations and all of that but to start off just a very brief thing like just introducing yourself and tell them what you're offering pretty much now that you've figured out your value and that you have put together your badass proposal to send to all of these brands and you have a list of brands that you want to send it to the next thing that you need to do is just start sending these out and you got to remember this is like as much as you're not just spamming everyone this is like kind of a numbers game so if you send out like a hundred emails there's a good chance that only like 10 of those people will get back to you um that's just how it is especially in the beginning you're just trying to get your foot in the door doing anything you can to like get in contact with these brands later on and as you grow and as you get bigger as an influencer and you grow your portfolio later on you'll get to the point where you don't even have to really reach out to brands they'll be reaching out to you and you can kind of avoid this whole thing but for now especially when you're starting out you need to kind of just do whatever you can to get in contact with some brands just to like start no one might get back to you it doesn't mean that your work is bad or anything it's just a tricky thing in the beginning so just keep at it another thing to keep in mind is just if nothing comes into like fruition now and you don't actually end up collaborating with some of these companies it's a good thing just to build relationships you like casting a net you're building a network so way in the future um one of these companies might be like oh okay we need a videographer or photographer or whatever and they'll think of you and then it could end up happening way down the line so even if it doesn't happen now it's still good because you're just reaching out you're building relationships all about the network that you build and eventually you get to the point where say if you're putting together a trip to go to bali or something you can kind of send out to all of your relationships that you've built and tell them what you're doing and you can instantly get like a whole bunch of brands on board which is much easier than reaching out to new brands and like starting from scratch every time you build that whole network just to recap and go over some of the points that we've discussed number one you don't have to be massive you just have to have value number two put together a list of all of the brands that you think are cool that you would like to work with number three is put together a proposal that includes some of your best work. Number four is start mailing all of these companies and don't be discouraged if you don't hear back right away. Number five is make sure you're focusing on building relationships with all of these companies so that you can put together a solid network. Okay, thanks for watching this tips and tutorials video. This is like the first one of these kind of things that I've done. Uh, I hope you guys like it. I wanna do a bunch more of them in the future and share all of these like little random tips and tricks that I'm learning and that I'm still learning leave a comment down below maybe if you have any ideas of any other subjects you would like me to touch on hit subscribe it means a lot and i will see you guys in the next one